hello smart money traders welcome back to the channel it's solomon here in this video i want to answer one of your most relevant question and that is how to correctly trade the ict judas swing this is a concept that was taught by the founder of the ict concept and of course he actually did a good job by explaining this in detail but one of the beautiful thing about trading is your ability to pick a concept and then come up with a new idea on how to approach it that suits your kind of trading pattern and i want to show you how i personally use it in this particular video so let's get into that there are three things you need to know about this strategy before i start first thing is that this simple strategy can help you to pass any profit evaluation and then get a fully funded account and then it will help you to minimize your risk as a trader and then it will give you exactitude of when to trade and when not to trade so what exactly is the ict judas swing now that is simply like a fake breakout okay now you need to understand how sessions work we have basically three sessions in the forex market we have the asian session we have the london session and then the new york session now i'm going to show you how to approach this across every session we're going to start from the asian session once you see the asian session high and then this asian session low you want to see that either the high of the asian session or the low of the asian session being taken out in the london session and then you're going to wait for a market structure shift and then properly take your trade as price comes back to the most recent institutional reference point it is as easy as that i'm going to show you everything i've simplified that in this video and then the currency peers i've seen this working properly mostly is euro usd and gbp usd okay you're going to try it on other peers that is your assignment but let me just quickly show you so once you see let's say this is the asian session high and then this is where the asian session low is and then you see this sudden breakout here and then price took out liquidity outside here and then quickly moving in this direction this happens in the london session because after asian session then comes the london session then we also have the one for the london session which happens in new york after the new york session quickly takes out the london session high or the london session low you want to see a market structure shift just like you see right here and once price comes back to the most recent institutional reference point you want to be in this trade it is as easy as that okay it's not that difficult as people thought it is so let me show you how this works i'll simply go to my chart right now and i'm going to show you how to spot it okay so coming back to our chart right here one thing i want you to do is to quickly come back to where you see your time frame come here and click on five minutes you're going to use the five minute because you don't need a daily bias for this all you want to do is to get where your asian session is and then where your london session is now i have an indicator right here that can help you do that if you have tradingview.com simply come to where you see indicators click on it and click on sessions the one you're going to use is this sessions by logs algo click on it i've just tried to make this so easier for you now look at this if i bring this let me just go to settings scroll down to where you see defaults let's reset settings and click on ok now basically once you click on that particular indicator this is what you're going to see coming back to the 15 minute let me show you that so this is how you're going to see it if i expand it a bit now we have basically three sessions in the market we have this is the asian session this is the london session and this is the new york session okay now you're going to start from the asian session and then you can go to the london session later so come to where you see the settings click on it and take out this new york take out the range take out london take out the range then scroll down you're going to leave tokyo because that's where the asian session is take out sydney take out the range then scroll down okay this range outline range label you can leave it show dashboard take it take it this you're taking out this guy scroll down to show sessions divider okay take it out take it out we don't need this one so click on okay now you can actually see that you only half the asian session this is the dead hour okay this is the dead hour after 24 hours you are going to start afresh so let's go back to the five minute again and then i'm going to show you what i'm saying right here okay so what we have here is this well, let me even go back to the 15 minute just to get clarity of what we have right here so from here this is what you're going to see you're going to use either the 15 minute or the five minute now look at this this is your Asian session high right here. This is the high for the Asian session right here. And this is the low for the Asian session. The low is here. Okay, this is the low. 
and this is the high and after the asian session what is the session you have next is london session now you're going to patiently wait for london session to quickly take out the high of the asian session and then you want to wait for a shift in market structure that's as easy and simple as that okay now look at this after the asian session we have this london coming and then it took out the high quickly where most traders think that this price is going to go high okay because most people are thinking this price is going to go high and then it quickly came back inside now if you drop down to the five minute you're going to see this properly let me just make it more clearer so you can see what i'm saying that particular area i just marked out for you let me just show you that without any hesitation okay can you see what i'm saying in the five minute price actually pushed outside this and then came back now look at that particular shift in market structure i'm telling you this is it the shift in market structure you want to wait for is this one okay once you see this shift in market structure that happens in the london session we want to quickly wait for price to come back to your most recent institutional reference point you can use either the 15 minute and check it out or you can simply use the five minute depending on where you've seen it okay so price is actually coming back to this particular institutional reference point. Let me show you that. If I can get clarity of this, this is a fair value gap right here. Or you can use this other block, as you can see right here. Okay, this other block. So this is your entry now for the sell. And of course, your stop loss is just right above here. You target the most recent low okay and that is your first entry with this strategy okay it's as easy and simple as you can see it guys now if you go across you're going to see this happening time and again let's see if this has happened right here did we see any of this happening outside this no we did not see so after the asian high and then the asian low there is no any movement outside it right here there is no any movement outside it okay you're going to pay attention to that look at this price came back and took out this low this is the high of the asia and then this is the low of the asia that we took out this yes we did okay we did now if we are dropping down to the five minute are we going to see an entry in that place just for us to get an entry we can decide to drop down to a lower time frame than that if i can see that area i wish i can see it okay so this is the area guys okay you want to pay attention to this kind of detail so after this you're going to wait for a market structure shift i cannot see any clear market structure shift that has happened here okay but this is the last high let's see if we can see a clear shift in market structure yes there is a shift in market structure around this area as price came back even though it pushed outside here you want to make sure that you get a clear entry i don't want to be in this trade because it looks so noisy so these are the kind of trades you want to be patient and then stay away from you don't want to take this kind of trades just be patient that is all about trading you're going to find entries time and again Okay, you're going to find entries time and again. So look at this. Price actually took out this, but we never had a shift in market structure. No shift in market structure here. At this point, there is not any evident shift in market structure. I'm supposed to hold shift so I can have a straight line. I'm using, have not seen a shift in market structure. You want to avoid that. Let's see if we can see another example so we can have this as a proper strategy okay now look at this asian session high asian session low and then quickly we have this breakout outside the range in london okay and then we will patiently wait for a shift in market structure and it happened here guys this is a shift in market structure what we call change of character and this is a fair value gap right here okay so as soon as price came back to this place this is a very simple strategy guys that you can use now some of you that have been on my youtube channel and you have not yet subscribed you're not doing well 
make sure you support this channel come back here and subscribe to this youtube channel support what we are doing right here if you want to get more and more videos from me you make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel okay so this is it this is the first way to do it and to reset settings click on okay and then come to settings take out new york okay take out tokyo this time around the range the range take out sydney these guys you're going to take them out take everything away okay so this is how easy it is to use this strategy guys i hope you're getting knowledge from this remember you need to subscribe to this youtube channel to get all the details of this so this is the same thing you want to see that the london session has been taken out by the new york session okay so you can see now let me even reduce the data for the london session because this is important come here click on this now you're going to change the data leave it from let's say at 30 just at 30 to 11 because this is too much of a data at 30 to 11 and then go back to the five minutes so you can get this probably okay so this is what we've got removing every single drawing right here this is what you need this is part of the london session you want to see something happen take it out see market structure shift anywhere around here that is where you get your entry the same principle applies guys this is mostly seen on gbp usd and euro usd you can try this guys if you have any question let me know in the comments grab of liquidity outside change of market structure and then you want to wait for an entry but be sure you get a very clear entry before you can do that okay this is the high okay this is the high this is the low taking out this area and then market structure shift at this point price came back to this huge favor look up okay very huge favor look up in this area so let me just quickly show you that very huge now once you have a very big favor look up this is a very quick displacement from this area once you see this if price comes back to 50 percent of the favor look up it is called consequent encroachment and that's where your trade entry is okay your trade entry is basically somewhere here your stop loss is just above it once we see this kind of a big movement you're going to see this time and again guys i'm just showing you this so you can see what it is to find these kind of entries and how to use the judas swing guys if you have any question let me know in the comments i will have to try every single information you are asking me before i teach you if i see it works then i will teach you if it doesn't work i will not teach you guys so you can couple this strategy with your silver bullet and then you can take trades at your will whenever you see the opportunity you can see takes out this high you wait for any place you see a market structure shift then you're going to take trade down to that place thank you guys for watching if you have any question let me know in the comments see you in the next video